Well, once again, on behalf of the um, organizing committee for the Brain Awareness Day, I'd like to welcome you to the University of Chicago. Um, the Brain Awareness Day is an initiative, it's a training and education and an outreach initiative that is put forth by the Conti Center for um, Computational Neuropsychiatric Genomics. And that's, I'm just going to spend a few minutes telling you a little bit about the Conti Center. Um, my name is Ravi Kumar, I'm the research director of the Conti Center and I've had the privilege of helping to lead this center um, for the last approximately two years when it was incepted. Um, and when I gave this talk yes, last year, we had approximately 30 members who were affiliated with the Conti Center, including project leaders and trainees and graduate students and research assistants. And now we're upwards of 60 affiliates and um, members of the center. So we've grown quite a bit over um, in just one year. Um, the Conti Center is a multi-institutional and a cross-disciplinary institution. And what I've highlighted over here, it's, it's are the seven schools that are associated directly with our center. We are based at the University of Chicago, but we also have um, investigators from Harvard University, Columbia University, Northwestern University, Stanford University, the University of Illinois at Chicago, and the University of Haifa. So if I were to uh, in a nutshell, if I were just to describe what the center does, we use um, a variety of different sciences. We use the power of computer science and, the, uh, and mathematics, including mathematical models. And essentially what we do is we take computer science, we take mathematics, and then we interrogate and examine massive biological data sets, existing biological data sets, which I'll talk to you about in just one second. And what do we do with this? We are interested in learning about the role of both genetics and the environment, so nature and nurture, and its role in human health and illness. And specifically, the Conti Center is interested in mental health and illness, and that's what we do. Take computer science, mathematics, look into biological data sets, and we try to understand mental health and illness. We are interested in a lot of different questions, and I just thought I'd give you a snapshot of the sorts of questions that the Conti Center is interested in addressing. For instance, what are the genetic and the environmental risk factors for autism? Or it could be for bipolar disorder. Um, and, but not only the risk factors, we're also interested in identifying the protective factors. This is an, um, a very important area of investigation as well. What protects you from developing a mental illness? Are schizophrenia and depression two distinct disorders for the most part? Are they influenced by the same genetic variables or the same environmental variables? Are there seasonal variations in hospital admissions for bipolar disorder or for schizophrenia? Um, so these are more looking at the environmental aspects. Do anxiety disorders and obsessive compulsive disorders share similar side effects to the same prescription drugs? This is another area that we're interested in investigating. And as a last example, can attention deficit hyperactivity disorder be resolved into clinical subgroups? And by that I mean if we take a population of ADHD or autism, can we, can we cluster them? You know, is there a certain percentage of the ADHD population that might be overrepresented for sleeping disorders? or gastrointestinal problems. Um, and so these are the sorts of questions that we are interested in, and many more questions, but just to give you a flavor of what we're interested in. The Conti Center is defined by four major projects and three cores. Project one, pharmacogenomics. Uh, pharmacogenomics uh, merges two disciplines, pharmacology, which is a branch of medicine that's interested in um, the mechanisms of drug actions. And then genomics, which is a discipline in genetics that's interested in studying the structure and function of um, the entire content of DNA in the cell of an organism. So in pharmacogenomic studies at the center, we're interested in the role of genetic variation and how that influences our reaction to drugs and the, si the sorts of side effects that we might get. Electronic health records. This is a major focus of our group. Um, an electronic um, health record is a systematic collection of electronic um, health information in a population or in an individual. Um, and the types of information that we can gather from these kinds of records include demographic details, so age, gender, ethnicity, 
um, medical histories, um, medicine and, and allergies, or your response to immunizations, um, and personal statistics such as height and um, weight, um, lab test results. These are, these are all informations that can be captured in EHRs. Um, and the Conti Center has access to small data sets of 100,000, which is not small, but that is our smallest data set, um, 100,000 unique patient histories, up to 100 million. Um, so we have a large collection of records. And you can just imagine, if you take 100 million records and we take mathematics and computer science and we try to look for patterns, we can come up with some significant patterns that would otherwise not be detectable if we were working with um, small, you know, small numbers of data sets. Project three involves genetic variation. How does genetic variation influence the risk for um, mental illness or protects against mental illness? And in this project, we develop um, cutting edge novel statistical methods for interrogating the different data sets. And then finally, a very important project is our integrative modeling project. This takes projects one in the prescription drugs, we look at the EHRs or the electronic health records, the genetic variation, and we try to tie it all together and we build networks upon networks upon networks. And at any time during the day, during lunch, um, feel free to, you know, if you want to pick my brains more about the specific projects, I'd be more than happy um, to talk to you about it, but this is just as a snapshot. And then we have what we really love are our three cores. They center and focus around the projects. Um, but core A is our administration, education, and training cores. This involves things like organizing scientific retreats. And these are pictures of the scientific retreats that we held last Monday when we invite people from all the different sites. It also includes Brain Awareness Day. These are images from last year's Brain Awa Awareness Day. Um, we have lab tours. We have speakers with brains, well, the brains in their hands and in their heads, uh, microscopes, and um, a lot of fun things, and so, so th these are some of the efforts that we do um, for the education, and this is the same, this is you actually. Um, we love our core B. Our core B is known as the high performance informatics core. Now how do we put all the, I was just talking about lots of different biological data sets, but the key is to try to bring it together so that all seven universities can try to access it at the same time. And the strength of this core is that we now have what we call the Conti Cloud. This is a computing cloud cluster. It's currently at about 225 terabytes of um, storage, and we're just we're dumping data sets into it. And we're trying to find ways that somebody in Stanford and somebody in Chicago can be analyzing the same data set at the same time, doing computation on it, um, and then sharing the data. So it really helps facilitate the center's um, goals. And then finally, to end, Core C experimental validation. Up until now, computer science and mathematics, excellent tools and excellent disciplines to help make predictions about what are the risk factors. We want to bring those predictions into the lab and, and validate it. So if we think that a particular gene is involved in obsessive compulsive disorder, how do we validate that? Do we sequence the gene and identify mutations? Maybe we'll bring it into an animal model, such as a mouse model or a fly model, but that is the essence of the validation core. So um, I also want to just thank the two funding organizations who help support the projects and the cores at the Conti Center here, um, the Chicago Biomedical Consortium, Medical Consortium and the National Institute of Health. That's my email. If you want to get in touch with me, please. Um, Send me an email. If you want to learn more about anything that we do, send me an email. If you want a career with the Conti Center, send me an email. If you want to study with us or train with us or um, anything, um, you can direct it to me as well as Barry as well. And that is my reminder for introducing the next speaker. So I have the pleasure of introducing Dr. Ravi Alada, who is the chair and the professor in the Department of Neurobiology at Northwestern University's Weinberg College of Arts and Science. He's also a professor in the Department of Pathology at the Feinberg School of Medicine and the Associate Director of the Center for Sleep and Circadian Biology. Um, I found this interesting. Northwestern University's Department of Neurobiology, which was founded in 1981, was one of the first in our country to grant an undergraduate concentration in neurobiology. 
Uh, sometimes when you're in the field, you think every school has a department of neurobiology, but this was one of the first ones, so I think that's really interesting. Um, Dr. Alada um, earned his MD training at the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor and did some postdoctoral training at Howard Hughes Medical Institute and Brandeis University in Massachusetts. And as we'll he be hearing today, his research interests are focused on the circadian regulation of sleep behavior, and he uses the model organism, the, the fruit fly, and he uses a variety of techniques, which we're gonna be hearing about in his talk on what molecular genetics can tell us about how we wake up and why we sleep. So, Dr. Adams. 